can put this on the list for times I felt awkward. Yeah. Hi from 5 a.m. again. We keep meeting like this. All the cars left. Nope, I thought people were staying here for sunrise. They're not. They don't care. I don't think anyone is here for sunrise. I also don't think there is a sunrise. You can see, it's dark. We're gonna get ready, pack up our little bag, and go down to the hot springs. Oh, I love you boys so much. Okay. Shall we go to the hot springs? Okay, this is the path. Oh, smell that sulfur. I don't know if I want to commit to that one because, oh, it's so sulfury, guys. So sulfury. Because it's not that hot towards the end. It's kind of like Mexico where you move the rocks and, you know, make it, make it how you want it to be. How honestly amazing is this right now? Does my coffee taste like pizza? A little bit, a little bit. I don't have that much water left uh, in the van, if any at all. So I like kind of washed the pan last night. You know, there's some, it's there. It's a saucy coffee. This is really cool. So I'm at um, Penny Hot Springs and let me tell you, what a party last night. Also, the most magical place to be at night. Yesterday was full of, uh, there's no other word I can think of besides magical things. So we had the, the lake in the morning, which was just unreal. And then we had the rainbows. And then we had last night, if you can see these mountainscapes. So look where, look where Duke is. So right there, that mountain, and then we have mountain on the other side. So what happened was, is that I went outside to look at the stars and I was looking up into the mountains, like trapped between two mountains. So I'm looking up and there's these like shards of black and then the sky was so beautiful and clear. It was it was such a cool experience. And it's one of those that like made me very sad that Charlie was not here because that's like something that's kind of like our thing. And we would lay on the roof deck for a really long time and look at that or come down in the hot springs because everyone was down here like all night. It was like, you know, bitter, bittersweet. It was the coolest thing. I've never looked up at the mountains and the stars. I don't know, Colorado, you're a... Uh, you're not that bad. Oh, our saucy coffee is not bad. It's growing on me. I also made it incredibly strong because I didn't boil enough water because I don't know how to measure it without my jet boil. Yeah. I'm going to reek, reek of sulfur. And this makes me miss Mexico. Actually, everything makes me miss Mexico, so we'll be back there soon. A spot like this is this is when it's amazing to be alone. And I get terrible, terrible anxiety that it's gonna be so packed, there's gonna be so many people. And I think last night was the first night that I really let myself just not give in to that. Whoever's gonna be here in the morning is gonna be here in the morning. And if they get up at sunrise, then that is also what they wanna do. I can get in my head with stuff like that so easy, like so easily, or I'll like wake up in the morning like, super frantic and like rushing to get to the spot or like rushing to get out of the van um yes we always hope that we have a place to ourselves, but you know sometimes we get lucky and sometimes we don't maybe this is a night hangout spot because people don't want to smell like sulfur all day i'm disgusting i don't mind i feel like i'm like a little 
baby in a bath trying to cover my boobs? Should I take a, should I dunk in the, should I go in the cold lake? Should we do this? Should we fake polar plunge right now? There's probably fish in there, that makes me so nervous. Only because you're making me. not that bad. It was not great. It was cold. I feel like I'm gonna need to do, like, do you, mm, do you think the river is like sulfury too? Like, can I clean off in the river is my question. This is so awkward, oh my god. A biker just came and like stopped at the edge and I'm just sitting here filming myself naked morning <laughs> sorry i put my clothes on <laughs> okay that was hilarious so i'm like i'm sitting there and i'm taking naked selfies to send to charlie because we're cute like that and this guy I look over and this guy's just standing at the edge <laughs> watching me do this so if we thought that moment before was awkward this one tops it so i'm like oh my god could i have been doing anything like anything worse while I'm standing there and then I'm like okay I'll put my top on <laughs> and then he comes down and I was like oh sorry and he was like no he's like is it cool if I'm naked too <laughs> I was like let's have at it man <laughs> but my life is always chaos now that my friend left I'm gonna go try and wash my suit with the lake water because that will smell forever and I'm probably gonna try and wash myself a little bit too because not only did I smell before this, I smelled twice as bad now. Okay, I've got my toast, which looks beautiful. I got this sourdough yesterday in Aspen because we're making sandwiches tonight. I'm so excited. See how we did on this one. Remember the last one sucked. Mmm. Not this one. I didn't mash my avocado as much as I like it. It's much more cubed. And I feel like how you have your avocado on your toast says a lot about you as a person. I like mine in the middle. I still like chunks. But I still like it, you know, smashed. I like texture. Some people like it just... Straight up guac, that's Charlie. And then other people just like it, like cubed. Like it falls off the toast, I don't even understand. Why? You know, what's your avocado toast? I've never ordered avocado toast at a restaurant. And like, what's the standard? How does it come? That's something to find out. Why do you eat so silly? Juice. Do I want that now? Yeah, I do. I do, actually. <laughs> so crazy. Got my juice. Yes, green juice. Nasty to so many of you. You going up with brother? What a good boy. He's gonna jump down in two seconds. Shall we? That was my juice. I feel like I was going the wrong way though. Now I'm going to get my juice. Oh, sorry, I just kicked Opie. Okay, I don't, oh shit. No, I was going the right way. Okay, now we're gonna turn around again. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going the wrong way. Okay, well I'm gonna turn around because I think I need to turn around. Like why? I need I need to sip my juice. That all. That's what I need right now. Oh, that was a good one. Usually I get the Uber Green, but this is the Mighty Dozen. I've never even seen that before. Not that I've really looked. Okay, I feel better already. 
Let's turn around. Again. Honestly, I'm not turning around like again again. So if this is not right, then we'll find something in this direction. And I think I'm going the right way. We got it. We always got it. So close. I'm not gonna be someone that complains about gas prices because I complain about literally everything else. I prefer to complain about things that I can control. That makes sense to me. I can't control this. So, you know, it sucks, but it's out of my hands. So, that's my TED talk on gas. Stress about the small things, am I right? Is that what we all get out of that? This is technically a one way, but we're gonna go for it, because we need to go get water. We're doing it. Look at how responsible we're being. Got gas. Walked the dogs at this beautiful rest area. Like, plush, wonderful grass. Opie was living his best life. I know, Bubby, how wonderful was that grass on your delicate little paws? Okay, we're getting a little bit hot again. But this time, because I'm sorry, I don't remember who said it, but um, one of you told me in the comments that when I put the heat on, to put it on defrost so that I don't burn my toes like last time. We're definitely teetering the line of like, should I pull over? Um, I don't know, because I've never responsibly made that decision. Uh, usually it's just too late and it's not me doing it. Wanted to go to Aspen tomorrow. Not Aspen, it's not Aspen. I wanted to go. Where the fuck did I want to go? Where? Vail. I wanted to go to Vail tomorrow and like grab lunch or something because they have a huge Bavarian culture from what I've read on the internet and I love that. So I was gonna go grab some food, but uh, I don't think I wanna drive back this way. Campsite I'm going to is like 20 minutes out of the way because I wanted the boys to be able to run tonight. It's proving at this rate to be much more than 20 with how slow I'm driving. This is a long one. We're still going. Oh God, this makes me so nervous. Oh my God, it is very hot. Go figure, it's hot with the heat on. All right, let the camp spot adventure commence. We're on a dirt road and we're just driving up a mountain. So once again, I'm not sure what I'm doing. It's a, it's a, I was gonna say it was a nice road. This is what we got. What are you thinking so far, bud? My goal is just that I hope we find a spot. Oh, we're really going up. Sometimes I just don't know how to drive. Like, why am I driving so fast down this road? It makes no sense. I should be driving very slow, but I don't. Actually, it's really not that bad. Oh my God. Okay. I'm gonna stop speaking now. We've done it. We have done it. Are we ready? Oh my God. Oh, everything fell. Hold on. Are we ready to release the beast? You ready? You ready? Go ahead, boys. Okay. I feel like this is the spot we've been looking for this whole time because I just wanted them to have some space and we have nothing but space now. Look at this whole field. We're gonna play so hard with the ball. Wow, we've done it. I'm proud of us. Oh, did you not recognize me with a shirt on? Well, this can go two ways. You can carry on with this solo adventure over here or more topless action in Mexico.